All right, guys, weekly stimulus for May 8th to the 14th. <clears throat> Monday, five rounds for time. Guys, this is, this is an aggressive one, okay? All right, so understand that the goal is we want to do all the volume, all right, under 30 minutes. So that means if you have to adjust the workout to do that, all right, then do that. All right, um, again, you know, a lot of times we get caught up in just saying, oh, I'm going to try to RX it, and you go and you do three rounds when we're trying to train you to do five rounds, okay? So it's really important to do that, all right? Um, make adjustments on this workout. You should be doing rounds under six minutes. So 20 dumb dumbbell snatches, that should be unbroken. If you have to transition that on the floor or you have to um, break it up, it's, it's too heavy for you. Crossovers, give it a whirl if you have them. If not, go to the double unders. 10 thrusters, that again should be a weight you can do unbroken, all right? You know, bar muscle ups are challenging. I totally get that, all right? Maybe pick a number like three that you can hit. Um, it's a two to one to chest the bar. So if you hit three muscle ups, jump up there, um, you know, knock out a, a handful of pull ups um, and, uh, and then get onto the run. And you have to pull the run back a little bit um, then do that. But again, once you get done with that second round, look up at the clock. If you're well over the 12 minute mark, you know, obviously you're not going to go ahead and meet that stimulus of getting this amount of volume. All right. in um, in the five minute, <clears throat> I mean, in, in the 30 minute time frame. Okay. Tuesday's an interval. It's a three minute on three minute off. All right. Basically it's a triplet, but it moves. All right. So 400 meter row, 10 deadlift, time remaining handstand pushups or wall walks. All right, the next interval goes 10 deadlift, 20 handstand push-ups. All right, cap yourself on that. At least, we want to get at least about a minute in the row on that round. Okay, so, you know, 10 deadlifts shouldn't go uh, super um, fast, uh, super slow. 30 seconds, that'll give you about 90 seconds to do the handstand push-ups or the wall walks. So make some adjustments there. All right, so you get at least uh, a minute in the rowing. <clears throat> next interval is a row, handstand, and time remaining deadlift. Two things on the deadlift. You guys that are really good at handstand push-ups, cap yourself at 20 reps. And you guys that are pretty good at the um, um, uh, wall walks or, you know, go ahead and give yourself a 20 rep cap. So maybe do five, take a break, do five, you have a ridiculous amount of time. If you are get stuck on the handstand push-ups, <clears throat> give yourself at least 30 seconds um, to knock out some deadlifts. You'll rest and you'll do it again, all right? Wednesday's our strength. Week two is shoulder to overhead. Week eight overall, heavier than last week if you have those numbers. If not, um, pick a weight, increase the weight. Um, you can, but you shouldn't be failing. Again, we're trying to accustom you guys to the work volume, all right? So it's uh, if you're failing multiple times on some of these reps, all right, then you're not handling the weights all right, that we want to do so we can uh, build up. It's three reps this week, and then you have a four-time workout. Um, you'll do this in two heats for big classes, uh, separated by four minutes. You got 30, 25 on the bike. That's a three-minute cap on there, totally doable. Um, it's uh, 30 shuttle runs. I'm, I'm sorry, 20 shuttle runs. So once you get out of the bike, you'll go down and back, down and back, down and back, all right, 20 times or 40 times, however you like to count. And then you'll cash it out with a 50 wall ball. So try to be aggressive there. Again, it's heavy leg dominated. All right. Uh, when you, by the time you get to the wall ball, all right, you know, maybe get a couple of small sets in there and then try to get aggressive and finish strong. All right. Thursday's a partner alternate. So how this works is, is that um, there's an odd number of movements. Okay. All right. So partner one does movement one. Partner two does movement two. Partner one does three. Partner two does four. Partner one does five, partner two does one, okay? All right, so it's push-ups, total bar, box jumps, alternating pistols, and kettlebell swings, all right? You wanna cap yourself to right around the same amount of time it takes your partner to do it, maybe about a minute, all right, tops. If you're with someone who's really good at one of the other movements, okay, it's understandable, all right? But, you know, do a couple of reps, all right? And, uh, and then maybe make a scale to keep yourself moving on a good flow. So basically how it works is it's five movements. So if I'm with a partner, all right, and I go first, I'm going to do three movements on the first time through. 
And then the second time through, I'm gonna do two movements, all right? I'll do push up, box jump, and kettlebell the first time, all right? And then the second time, I'll do total bar and pistols. That's when it's a round, okay? So it's one round when both athletes complete all five movements. You'll only do three on the first time and then two on the second time because, like I said, it's odd. All right, so that's how the five rounds work. All right. All right. Um, Friday, you have a death by run and clean complex. All right, so basically what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to do a clean complex of three reps each, and then you're going to run 100, 100 meters. Okay, all right. Um, when you come back, you're going to do two clean complexes. You don't have to do the complexes unbroken, all right? Um, but you do want to move at a good pace. The run is pretty much your break. Two clean complexes, 200-meter run. Three clean, 400. Four clean, 600. Five clean, 800. That's it. It's 55 reps for each movement. It's 2,100 meters in running. So again, you guys that are struggling with running, pull the runs back a little bit. I wouldn't start pulling the runs back until 400, maybe go three, four, six, instead of four, six, eight. But again, talk to your coaches about what's gonna be the best situation for you, all right? All right, Saturday is a three test workout. So test one is Isabella, it's 30 snatches for time. It has an eight minute cap, you rest two minutes. After that, you do test two, it's a 2K row for time, 10 minute cap. Rest two minutes. Test three is a one mile run, 12 minute cap. All right, so there's no rest if you get capped. So let's say you do Isabel and you are at the eight minute mark and you're on rep number 25. You go immediately into the row, okay? The two minute rest is only for the people, all right, that finish under the time cap, all right? So if you came in to just punish yourself and picked a weight that you barely can handle and it took you eight minutes to do um, Isabel, well, your punishment is you're going to get right in the row. You're not going to get a break, all right? So that's how it works, all right? You get an eight-minute cap, all right, on the first part. You get a 10-minute cap on the second part, and you get a 12-minute cap on the third part. It's 30 minutes, all right? Again, more than likely you'll be under those times, especially on the first two parts. Um, so, uh, you'll buy it some extra time. All right. All right. Sunday's a mini Murph. Uh, Murph is coming up, uh, next weekend. No, at the end of the month. Um, I think that's the 29th. Ev, 29th. What? Come again. 28th. The 28th. Okay. The 28th. That's a Sunday. All right. So Murph is right around the corner. So get your vest site ready. All right. Good talk, guys. Enjoy the new space, all right? Lots of open areas now.